Hi, I'm Dr. Misty Clifton. I get asked on a daily basis, what are my favorite treatments to provide here at Premier Dermatology? And they're really the treatments that give you the biggest wow factor. I love it when my patients come back and they say, I can't believe the amazing amount of improvement that I've gotten from these procedures. So I'm gonna to talk to you about several of them today. The first procedure I want to talk to you about is halo deep resurfacing. It's one of my favorite procedures. It is a little bit more invasive than a lot of the other procedures that we offer, but wow, can you get the results with this. It actually is erbium laser, but it's really done in very precise layers, and I can get to whichever depth I need to get to to make sure that I get rid of any sun damage, that I get rid of deep lines and wrinkles, and I can actually even tighten the skin. We can use it on the face and the neck, and it's amazing for deep lines and wrinkles. For people who maybe have so much sun damage that they really need something to get rid of that damage to prevent skin cancer. It's also really, really good for those who really are not getting the benefit from Botox and fillers. The next procedure I wanna to talk to you about is one of my all-time favorites. It's called blepharoplasty. I've been performing this procedure since I was a resident at UAMS way back in the day. We won't talk about when that was. Back then I used to do it with a scalpel, but now I do it with a very advanced laser technique. It's a cutting CO2 laser, and I'm excited to show you some of my results with that. Blepharoplasty is really geared to people who come in to me and say, my eyes just look tired. My friends say I look exhausted all the time. I can't really even put eyeshadow or eye makeup on because I have all this extra skin on my upper eyelid. So for those people, we actually can remove a nice little crescent moon of extra skin there. Tiny little line of stitches and one week later those come out and your eyes look open and refreshed and you no longer look tired. Sometimes people come in and it's not just the upper eyelid that is the issue. Sometimes the lower eyelid will have a little fat pocket that gives them a bulge or a fold that makes them look too full underneath the eyes and look really tired, or puffy. For those people, we actually do a lower lid blepharoplasty or eyelid surgery, where we actually retract the lower eyelid, make a little tiny incision and remove that fat. And it's unbelievable how much improvement you can get from this very minimal procedure. The next procedures I wanna to talk to you about can be used anywhere on the face, neck, body to really get improved tightening and tone and make really big advancements in the way the skin looks. The first one is called face tight. Face Tight uses a little probe that goes underneath the skin and sends radio frequency energy all the way through the different layers of the skin, deep down, even into the fat, and it can actually melt fat in areas where you have a little bit unwanted, such as the chin area, maybe the flanks, the arms, the abdomen, really any area where there's just a pocket of unwanted fat that we really want to eliminate. It also tightens the skin. After we melt the fat and get that heat and tightening of the skin, then we can follow that with liposuction in certain areas where there's really maybe more fat than we want to remove with just the melting of the fat alone. So depending on what area we want to treat, we use different size probes. For the upper face and around the eyes, we use a really small one called Accutite. For the neck and for lower parts of the face, we usually use the face tight probe. They're all similar, and there's also one for body, called body type. It just depends on the size and the level of energy that they provide to that area. So depending on the amount of bulk that we're trying to eliminate, we use the one that's appropriate for that area. We often pair face type and body type with another procedure called Morpheus, that is radiofrequency microneedling. Actually can go through different layers of the skin all the way down to four millimeters, then three, two, one, and there's even a resurfacing tip. So we can tighten and resurface the entire skin depth along with the face tight or the body tight, melting fat and helping to tighten the skin. So it's a wonderful combination and we use that very, very commonly to get the best results. This same procedure called Femtite can be used for feminine rejuvenation. We use it in the vaginal and in the labial areas to really tighten and rejuvenate the tissue. This really leads to improvement in lots of things, not only the cosmetic appearance of the vulvar area, but also it improves incontinence if people are having trouble with that, and it can also improve sexual dysfunction. Incontinence is often a problem for both males and females. If that's the main issue, then we can actually direct the patient to a treatment called Imcella. Imcella uses electromagnetic energy to stimulate the muscles of the pelvic floor to really strengthen and rebuild them. Think about Kegels on steroids. 
It provides super maximal contraction that you can't get no matter how hard you work on those Kegels. It works beautifully for incontinence, but it's also good for sexual dysfunction. Thank you for tuning in to hear about all of my favorite things. I would love to talk to you about them in person. Please call for a consult at any time. Also, if you want more information, please go to premierderm.net.